vlogging I'm just setting up to do some zoom calls look at my uber professional <laughs> stand I had the call with the Lulary team um, this morning about our collaborations this year we're doing things a little bit differently this year and I'm so excited to share the first drop we're launching actually next month so stay tuned for that and I also have a call with another brand that I'm doing a collection with this year and I think you're going to be really really excited about this one it's one that's kind of been in the works for like a year or two at this stage and i've worked with them in the past i love the team i love the brand love what they do and what they sell so it's really exciting that i'm going to be doing something like a connection with them so i'm going to do these calls and then i'm going to have like a proper catch up with you i finally got my hands on an actual copy of stellar so i'm going to show you that and then also there's been big changes on my Instagram and new website and everything. So I'll fill you in, but I'm just going to get these two calls done now. It's one's at 11 and one's at 12. So I'll be back to you at one. Um, calls are done. Really exciting. Like, oh, there's so much good stuff coming. I'm going to have a coffee. I check out my design after the call. And it's so much easier to talk without them. Like I forget how, how much easier it is <laughs> without them. I'm not going to lie to you. But I'm gonna just get some more work done now. I have my friend's birthday tonight, her 30th, Robin, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm actually going away tomorrow. So I'm just trying to get everything done before then. And I want to just do this vlog as well because I'm, I'm, I'm sad that I've missed out like on I think two weeks. And I'm not gonna get mad at myself because that's kind of the deal I made with myself when I came back on YouTube to just take it as it comes. And if things are busy, just get back into it then when I can. So I, I wanted to do this today just to get back into it and I, I really want to show you the Stellar in the flesh. So my parents came over as I mentioned in the last vlog and they brought this for me and it's so cool to see it in person. So, okay, so the cover which you've seen a lot, I've been posting, resharing all your photos and stuff on my Instagram story. And then this is the feature. I think there's only a couple of days left of it on shelves because the new issue is going to be coming out. So I think it's okay now for me to show you the inside because they kind of tell you not to show too much of the inside so that I guess people buy it and stuff. But it's kind of at the end now. So here we are. So a new era of Erica, which is very apt because of the changes I made this week. And that's kind of what I was hinting at in the article. Then this dress I loved so much. And then they wanted like some color. I'm not usually the biggest pink person. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So when they showed me this, I was like, oh. But then I put it on and you know what? The, the picture actually turned out okay. I think I'm just a little bit scared of color, but sometimes I, I like it on me. And then I see I'm more of like a muted pink girl. Like this is more me. This is the Mugler by H&M collection that just came out. And I think I was the first, this is the Irish sample that they got. And I think I was the first one to to wear it which is really cool they let me put it in for the shoot the stylist got it for me and then this dress again and i think there's one picture yeah the pink one's at the front as well so such a nice feature oh my god i'm basically just kind of chatting about this year and the wedding and the new chapter and everything so yeah let me know if you got it and what you think and thank you so much for your support and then in line with all that the new era of Erica. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already have seen this, but this week I, it's very bright. I switched over my username after I think like 10 years. I think I was Retroflame for like 10 years on Instagram and more like on the blog and stuff. But I switched it over to my name, Erica underscore Fox. And I don't know, it feels really good. Like it was kind of one of those bittersweet things to do because Retro Flame has been me since I started this whole journey. Like it was in the era where you you set up a blog and you picked a name for that blog. Like you didn't use your own name. Well, that was mainly the case anyway. So I picked Retro Flame and it stuck and it worked. And that's what I've built these last 10 plus years. And that's what I've grown. So yeah, it was kind of bittersweet changing it over, but it is something that I was just thinking about for a long time. and. I think like especially since I turned turned oh my god I can't speak turned 
I swear, I, I think I got used to not ha like having the Invisalign on and then now it's harder to say some things without it. It's so weird. But since I turned 30, <laughs> I feel like I just have been thinking about making the switch over. So um, I kind of looked into finding a username and thankfully the girl that had that username, she gave it to me. She's so kind. And then I had that username for a while, just kind of on the back end. And then I had to switch it over with Instagram, which was actually a bit of an ordeal. It took like a long time for that whole thing to switch over. And then I set up a new website with that. So I have a brand new website. It's erica-box.com. And that's going to be like my new website now going forward. And that's going to be just the hub where everything kind of belong to me lives like anything I talk about anything I share like links they'll all be on there I have a whole new section which has been something that I've wanted to do for ages for New York recommendations <laughs> because it's probably like my most asked question in my DMs like I'm going to New York for four days where can I go so I've started like to build out loads of recommendations so right now I have I think 10 recommend or 12 recommendations I think for where to eat 12 for where to stay and 12 for um what's the other one what to do like things to see so it's eat stay see and that's only the beginning like i'm gonna build it out really cool like more stuff like maybe some sample itineraries if you're coming for a couple of days i'll tell you what to do for those three days and like how to plan your day if you if you'd like that so that's really exciting and then i have a wellness section we have a fashion section a beauty section and we have what's that on oh, interiors so I have links like to loads of the things that you see in my videos or on my Instagram and they're just going to all be in one place now. So it's different to my blog, like it's very different to how Retro Flame was. That was just more, I'd write an article and then everything would be in that article and then that was just that one article and then you go on to the next one. But whereas the website is just more like this overall hub for everything and there's links to my YouTube on there and you can see some videos, my TikTok, my Instagram it's just really nice i'm really really happy with it and i did a brand new logo for erica fox like really simple really just sleek and classic and yeah it just feels very me and i worked with an amazing amazing web developer she was so patient like i she i she's such a hard worker first of all like this is like her side hustle doing websites and she's incredible at it and she was so nice to work with like i've worked with people in the past and you know the way you kind of feel bad asking like to change something or like in a creative process you know there's always like nitty gritty things and I'm very particular so like in the past I'd be like feeling like I was bothering the person asking them but with her like she couldn't have been nicer she changed like she just made changes and it was just like no problem like everything was just so easy to do with her and I think that's why it's turned out so nice because it was such a collaborative you know process and i can't recommend her off her i'll leave her business name down here and her details in the description box if you're looking for a website developer get onto her and like i don't say that lightly because i've worked with people in the past and i haven't recommended them <laughs> so i really recommend her she was brilliant and so easy to work with so that's all launched and very excited for what's to come end of an era for retro flame and as i said a little bit bittersweet like someone wrote to me in there they they said it really well they said you know we grew up with retro in her 20s and in our 20s and now we're about to face like the big adult world with erica in her 30s you know it really just feels like the next chapter it's like you just close the book on <laughs> one chapter and we're on to the next and i think that's really a good thing because change can be kind of scary and like I think I probably put this off for a bit too long if I'm honest and I'm sure lots of you might be going through a similar thing or you might be thinking about making a change and they can feel a bit overwhelming or daunting or you have to do work to kind of make the change like in my case I have to build out the new website and you know rebrand and stuff and you can kind of put it on the back burner but I really recommend just going for it and doing it because as soon as I like publish the website and I like published the post about the new name I don't know I just got a new lease of life into me I just feel like it was such a boost and even though I knew I was going to do this for months when you actually do it then it just feels really good and it just felt fresh and new and I love a fresh start I actually love change I think change is really good and it's really important to like constantly be kind of challenging yourself and you know 
seeing what where you can evolve and seeing what, what you can do making giving yourself the challenge and yeah it's exciting and there's... okay next on the agenda in this vlog is some fashion stuff because i'm kind of in the middle of like packing for some trips coming up i go back to ireland the end of june and i'm basically gone for the guts of a month i have a wedding i have some travels i have an event that i'm doing in ireland which i need to tell you about soon so i just need to like get loads and loads of outfits together so i've been doing some shopping and i'll probably kind of like show you bits and pieces like throughout the next couple of vlogs so i don't overwhelm with everything because i've really been um just like been on the search for good stuff and i found some really nice things and i do want to show you today some new things i got from suzanne sorry my bed's a little bit messy um but the last vlog that i did and i showed you some suzanne pieces i couldn't get over the response like i think that was one of the more like one of the fashion hauls i've got most messages about and loads of you asking me about things and buying them so i'm really excited to show you some more because you definitely like suzanne and so do i i've been loving their stuff this summer and i've been wearing it so much and i have three new things to show you and then i'm gonna show you a little bag as well that i've actually already shown that on instagram but i'll show you quickly here too so i'll talk you through the stuff and then i'll do the usual try okay, so first is this bag that i've already shown on instagram and i actually have another bag as well and I went to look for it and I just remember that I gave it to Kaylin for her trip and she has that at the moment so I just have one to show you but I'll put a picture here on the screen of the other one I love the two of these if you're looking for some nice summer bags that you're gonna have like year after year I think these are two really good options like this is more of a bucket style and you can do the long strap and I've kind of just been like tucking in the strap a bit too when I was wearing it and just kind of holding it like this or on my arm or like shorter on the shoulder you can tie a knot and then the other one is like perfect for going to the beach or the pool or just like around the city if I have like more stuff and it's very light and very easy to wear so I love the two of them and I'll show you how I style that now with some of these new bits I've got so let me show you these first okay I love a good pair of neutral shorts in the summer and I'm kind of always searching I have this one pair of white shorts that I've had for ages and they're kind of on their last legs so I've been on the search for some like creamy white shorts and I saw these and I just think they're like a really good staple pair I wouldn't wear the belt I would style these without the belt and that's kind of like what I had in mind when I bought them or I'd add my own one but I think they're just really nice plain they're kind of like a creamy like off-white color so I'll try these on now after I show you everything and I'll show you like how I style them and stuff like these would be cute with a flat sandal or also a heel for say if you go on holidays and you want to just kind of be a little bit more comfortable at night like these would be perfect with a small heel and like a simple top and you're ready to go so I'm very excited about them and then the other two pieces I got are both black dresses I I love a good black dress in the summer I'm not gonna lie I love them I love black dresses all year round and I just think in the summer like if you're going somewhere like really hot like this is kind of my thinking sometimes <laughs> if you're going somewhere really hot and you you're going to be out all day and you know you're going to be kind of like sweaty and things like that I just feel like with black you don't have to worry about sweat marks and it kind of is like more forgiving so I just love to have a few good ones on hand and with the right accessories like you can really make them pop like I, I love that it's a plain base and then you could add in bags and sunglasses and gold jewelry and cool shoes and stuff so the first one is a shorter kind of like mini style this is like the up close because maybe in the mirror now you mightn't see it like in detail but it's this nice print and then has like the kind of more puffy sleeves and I think you can either wear them like down or up I'll show you both and then at the back there's like a little bit of an opening and then you tie here so I'm pretty sure you could wear a bra with this if you wanted because this tie part will like cover the the back of it or I just kind of wear those like sticky boobs a lot with like dresses in the summer and they work out pretty good so that's the first one and then the other one is super plain but really chic this now you're gonna have to see on it's gonna look like nothing on the camera here but it's just this like plain black midi dress it has these like short sleeves um, and then it's kind of more just like soft 
knit material hopefully you get like some bit of an idea but i'll try them on now i'll leave links down below to everything as usual and yeah you'll see me you'll see me in these now definitely on my trip and probably like even before that here okay, i actually just kept on the top i was wearing because the color goes nicely with them but these are the shorts on they're really flattering because the way that the shape is it kind of like goes in on the waist and then it has pockets and this like turn up which i always think is nice too kind of gives it more of like a dressy feel so as i said you can do like more of a casual kind of sandal you could do this with a heel you could do like a cute little strapless top and a blazer they're just a really versatile pair to have for summer like if you don't have i think a good pair of black shorts and a good pair of like whitey cream it just I don't know they just give so many options throughout the summer to make outfits like they're just great staples to have especially when it gets like a little warmer now so yeah this is the first thing and actually just to show you with my own belt you could obviously do the belt that they give you but I just added this nice brown one and like it goes really nice then with the bucket bag or you could do like a different like clutch or something just kind of makes it pop okay then next we have this little black number which is so nice on it really kind of like sits nicely here brings you in but like not in an uncomfortable way and then these sleeves i always find really good for summer like they're very um flattering and just like easy to wear and then the back if you can see is a little bit open it's hand on my back it needs to be redone by the looks of it and then i just put on like a little brown shoe with this but you could do gold you could do black white um it's like the bag with it like it's very versatile for day to night this dress which i which i like about it like you could easily wear this with a sandal throughout the day and then pop on a heel and a fancier earring at night time and you have like two outfits in one which is really handy for holidays and things like that if you want to not pack loads which i usually do um say if you just have like hand luggage and you want like versatile pieces this is a really good one and then yeah i kind of showed you the close-up the other way because i knew it wouldn't show let me turn the camera around a bit better this way it's just like a nice um eyelet i think that's what it's called detail so yeah this is number of a number two and then i have one more dress okay it's not really showing in the mirror very well so i want to just quickly show it to you like this um how nice is this i i'm wearing it more like off the shoulder you can obviously wear it up as well. I'm, yeah, I think the model's wearing it more up, but I like it a bit more um, this way. It feels a bit more dressy, like a more kind of a night out look or something like that. You could do a heel, you could do a flat, whatever, whatever you want. And it just fits nicely. Like it's not too tight. Like it feels comfortable, but still supportive. Yeah, I love this too. So as always, everything would be linked down below for any questions about sizing. I am a US two and everything just for reference um but if you have any other questions about like fit or sizing or whatever you may may be wondering about just let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you and i'll definitely share some of my other outfits i've been starting to put together too i just want to be like really organized for my upcoming trips and just like not have to be planning as i go because especially when you go away for a long time you kind of want to pack smart so i might give you like a rundown of some of the looks i've put together because it's a mix of new stuff and stuff i've had from year to year so it might be a good kind of outfit idea video so let me know if you want to see that as well i'm actually really enjoying shopping for summer this year and that's like not usually the case for me i'm more of a winter girl when it comes to clothes but i've actually found some really good stuff this year hey guys oh my god i literally nearly forgot to show you these as well i had them on a different shelf but i also got these beautiful sandals from suzanne as well and they're so comfortable on i haven't worn them outside yet but i've tried them on and they just fit like a glove and they i think they come in a different a couple of different colors and then these earrings if you follow me on instagram you'll know i'm very into these like shell and starfish and all things kind of sea earrings they're very on trend at the moment and they come in this really cute little um box it'd be a lovely present for someone okay, so yeah i'll link these as well morning from a very delayed next part of the vlog i think it's about two weeks later in this vlog and i was going to scratch the whole thing but my new rule is not to do that just to pick up where I left off um, but I'm just back from an event I went to downtown just in white trousers and then I actually 
didn't plan on wearing the jacket because the top is actually quite nice like this was the look but it was kind of like gloomy this morning so i just popped on the jacket look who's here hi jojo say hi to the vlog i'm babysitting joy this week while um ken and david are away but they're actually back tomorrow so just one more day but let me take off the jacket and i'll show you the top it's so dark that way because like the light's very dark today but it's this really nice brown like what you call this sweetheart neckline there's like a name for it i think that's wrong but this neckline i used to have one like this in white but i ruined it with tan one day i was wearing it and i'm honestly still not over it i loved it so much um but then i saw this brown one and i really liked it so i'll try to link anything similar that i can find now i'm gonna get changed into kind of more comfy clothes i have to bring joy out for a walk and then i have to get my nails done actually which oh, i feel like some people enjoy doing their nails and i literally put it off till the last minute and i was gonna actually go straight there from the event but then i have to bring joy down because he didn't do number two this morning i'm literally like a dog mom so i have to go down and see if he will do that now and then i'll get my nails done because i have a shoot tomorrow i'm shooting my next lulery collection i think i talked about that in this vlog at the beginning as far as i can remember i haven't edited it yet so i can't remember what else is in this vlog but if i did you already know but if i didn't i'm shooting the next collection tomorrow with kaylin because she's back and then that'll be going i think we're launching in like two weeks or so from now so i'll keep you posted and, and maybe in this vlog i'll show some sneak peeks of that tomorrow morning i won't close out the vlog today i can maybe like show you a few little bits and pieces i'm so excited but joy is now staring at me i really think he needs to go down so i'm gonna quickly get changed and bring him also i think i want a dog we've had joy for like five days now and i'm so sad he's going back to their apartment tomorrow like i think i think we're finally ready i feel like i can i can do it now i know what to do and it's not as hard as i thought it was going to be like the the walks and the schedule and stuff but yeah he's the best boy the vlog so cute okay nails are looking better but guys look at new york city right now like it's not even looking the same on the camera it's like an orange like yellow sky there was like loads of fires in canada and all the smoke has come in to new york today it's like really really bad air quality like it's quite dangerous I wore a mask there going out. It, like it's like half two and it looks like it's about, I don't know, seven or eight or nine o'clock. It's crazy, my God. You can kind of see the orange tint coming this way, but basically, yeah, there was the fires in Canada and all the smoke has come over here and it's apparently like the worst air quality in the whole world today here like in any major city so i think i'm gonna stay inside for the rest of the day joe what do you think good thing we got our walk in earlier it wasn't so bad earlier when i brought him down and like when i went to the event and stuff this morning it just got really bad but I just quickly got these done i got my toes done too because it had been a while and they needed to be done i don't know if you're obviously not going to see them tomorrow in the shoot but um it's actually we're celebrating kaylin's birthday this weekend it was her birthday last weekend and then they went away on their trip and then we're having like the new york kind of party her usual celebration this weekend so i want to just like be ready um but i'm gonna have some lunch now and then get back to it okay it is the next day we just wrapped up our lulery shoot say hi Kel. hi um Kel's back from her trip we're just looking for the little thing that you put into your phone to put the memory card into so i can put the photos onto my phone and start editing them but it went well i won't show you too much because it's launching oh, it's very orange um it's launching quite soon these are earrings from like past collection i love them i wear them so much and the necklace is one of the pieces so i just have it inside i just put on a big t-shirt um when we finished so i'm just gonna clean up now we just kind of shot like more like producty kind of shots and some close-ups we always just shoot in this corner over here because the sun hits nicely in the morning time so that's done and then we might have to do a few more kind of like outdoor shots next week and get some videos and stuff but i just have to get the product shots over to lulery so they can put them on the website and get like the website just ready and started up so 
yeah very productive um i'm gonna close out this vlog i think now because i want to get this edited and live because i'm a little bit behind but thank you for understanding um as i mentioned like a couple of weeks ago like i'm not gonna probably post every single week but i'm gonna try and vlog as much as i can and then even if i have to put a couple of weeks together into one vlog kind of like how this is it's like random bits from random days but i'll try my best to just keep going and post here as much as i can so thank you as always for your support and i will see you in the next one bye